Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. My name is Rich and we're here with Pax. We're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands he's learned here at school. One thing we want to introduce is the training equipment. I have a standard six foot web training leash and I keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in my right hand. My left hand then can grab the leash basically where it kind of naturally falls and that's important because with packs, with any sort of retriever lab, is a big fan of grabbing stuff off the ground. So if my left hand is here, I have better control. He's walking at heel position, which again is my left side. Shoulder blades even with my left leg when we're walking. And the first command we're going to demonstrate is his ability to walk nicely on a leash, which again is healing. The command is Pax Heel. Pax Heel. Now whenever I stop, whenever we stop, he should automatically sit. Good boy. Pax Heel. Nice automatic sit. So when you're walking in the streets, you stop at a crosswalk or you're working with Pax, when you stop, expect him to sit. If he doesn't, it's a little correction, no, followed by a sit command. So whenever he does something wrong, you want to give him a little tuck and release like that and tell him no. We're also using a little clicker and the occasional treat to reward him for doing a good job. Ready? Pax, heel. Very good. A little bit of praise, not too much. The next command we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. It's a hand and a voice command. Always have him seated first, left open palm towards his muzzle. One word firm command to stay. Stay. Have him hold this sit stay at home for 30 seconds working up to three minutes. No. If I think he might dip his head, slip the ground, I will gently kind of correct him and remind him that he can. Good. And again at home, 20 or 30 seconds working up to three minutes. Axiom. Axiom. Good boy. So when you're working with him at home, and we're going to go over this tomorrow as well, keep your training sessions pretty short with packs or with any dog for that matter. I mean, 15, 20 minutes is a, is a, is a good range. Um, anything longer, the dog starts to regress, gets tired, gets fatigued, and then you guys start to struggle a little bit. So keep that in mind. Another sit, stay. Again, he's seated. Stay, left open palm. And what you want to do is work with him at home, either indoors or in a quiet spot. I'm going to call him out of that. No. Okay. No. So the command is Pax Cut. Pax. Good boy. And this is the first little treat that he's going to get. Good. And he takes him very gently. Ready, Pax heel. No. Good boy. Pax heel. Good. Stay. Again, 20 or 30 seconds, working up to two or three minutes. Stay. Sometimes I'll take a step in if I see him getting distracted. I'm going to call him out of this one more time. Pax. Pax heel.
Good. What we do a lot of here too is changing directions. I mean, so when you're healing with packs at home, you can speed up, slow down, do what we call like an about turn. Anything to kind of keep him more focused on you, on leash, is a great thing. So yeah, slow down, speed up, change directions, stop suddenly. Again, it makes him focus more on you. The next command we're going to demonstrate, which is a little bit harder for Pax, he does it great, but it's the down from heel position. So, no. So when I tell him to down, the problem is, is that his nose is so close to the ground where there's twigs and leaves and branches and all sorts of goodies. So I'm really going to focus on what he's looking at. So again, with everything else, he's seated first. Left open palm, we're going to push it towards the ground. Down. Stay. any of our dogs sniffing and smelling because it's a distraction. They're going to sniff that leaf and that twig and that acorn. Next thing you know, they're up and wandering away. Pax heel. No. Now that was human error. I was trying to adjust my leash and wasn't quick enough. So consequently, the leash was falling in his face, and any puppy is going to typically grab it and want to take control. So that's a big reason why we do this. So one more down command. Again, he's seated. Down. Stay. Have him hold this at home for a minute, give or take up to eventually five minutes. That's our recall again from down. Little tiny tree. He's just as motivated by praise as well. Um, so I know that we've communicated Norris communicated regarding Pax and, and what we think of him. I mean, he's a really sweet puppy, ton of potential. I know you have a lot of expectations for him, and we want to be there for you throughout the process. So keep us posted on how he's doing after he goes home tomorrow afternoon. We want to thank you so much for trusting us. Norris Dog Training Company is your personal dog trainer, and we'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Have a great day.